If you are the type of petulant, childish, irrational, and hate-filled individual that relishes or that enjoys a peace negotiation or or peace talks that abruptly end, you're probably part of the Democratic Party. You're probably focused on Michael Cohen, a guy who's going to prison for um, things that have absolutely nothing to do with Trump Russia, which was actually fabricated by Hillary Clinton and Democrats and media. If you are the type of person that looks at this um, abrupt end to the Trump-Kim summit in Vietnam and says, oh, you see, you see, and you forget that President Obama destroyed an African nation in Libya, you forget that American and NATO jets in a military intervention destroyed a country and turned it into a failed state. Whereas a there was a con- there's a country in Latin America where people on the left are saying, oh my God, it's a coup. A million percent inflation, sorry. 80,000% inflation, not Trump's fault. Um, that was a failed state before, um, before everything going down now. But if you're the type of person that says, oh, well, Trump didn't... Do- you... Hillary Clinton wanted to ring China with missile defense. Are you kidding me? President Trump objectively, prison reform, peace between North and South Korea, the beginning of this, the end of this, sometimes you have to walk. Trump Kim summit was cut short after North Korea demanded end to sanctions. Trump, North Korea's um, Kim and nuclear summit without agreement. That's not a problem. They're going to negotiate again. That's just good negotiation from Trump. President Trump is objectively a great president. We have more jobs in the United States of America than people to fill the jobs. We have an economy that's growing. 460 plus thousand manufacturing jobs. 300,000 manufacturing jobs lost under President Obama. President Obama deported two and a half million human beings. He presided over the largest expansion of domestic oil and gas production in U.S. history. So you can, you know, take your climate change pontification and uh, shove it where the sun don't shine. In terms of a president, he's a great president, objectively. You talk about the First Step Act prison reform um, legislation, a great economy, where you have actually more jobs than people to fill the jobs, wages increasing. He's bringing home Americans from counterinsurgency conflicts. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, he said that both sides were equal. That is in your uh, brain. You might have a problem with your brain if you believe that. He never said that. He never said both sides are equal in terms of morality and the Tiki Torch people are just as equal as the people who are battling the Tiki Torch people. Never happened. That's in your pathetic brain. Never happened. He never said that. But what can you expect? You voted. You might have voted for Hillary Clinton. If you're watching this channel, you didn't. But you know who I'm talking to. Let's just read this. Wall Street Journal seven minutes ago. Trump, North Korea's Kim, and nuclear summit without agreement. President says Kim was prepared to dismantle a nuclear complex if sanctions were lifted. Hanoi, President Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un failed to reach an agreement at a second summit aimed at curbing North Korea's nuclear weapons program at Pyong- uh, as Pyongyang pushed for sanctions relief in exchange for reciprocal steps that Washington said it viewed as inadequate. I am always prepared to walk, Mr. Trump said. I am never afraid to walk from a deal. This is an example of good negotiating. This is an example of... And the same thing happened between Gorbachev and Reagan. uh, Between one of the salt talks. The same thing happened. Um, But...
This is an example of a president doing what he was elected to do. If you have zero understanding of politics or of history, and you say, oh my God, Trump, he is, he is um, you know, speaking to the most horrible people in subliminal messages. You're fabricating that. Clinton is the one. Hillary Clinton referred to black youth as super predators. Trump didn't. Hillary Clinton, in a vile, disgusting, just like the prior statement I just stated, called referred to Mahatma Gandhi as a gas station attendant. Who does that? Well, Hillary Clinton did. Clinton used a racist 3 a.m. ad uh, where somebody was breaking into a house at 3 a.m., um, that was before the Southern primaries in 2008. You actually have to know something about politics and history to realize that Clinton has um, a far greater, greater, far more extensive, a, a litany of disgusting, vile, racist uh, statements and deeds. Bill and Hillary Clinton, not just Hillary. But... They ended Trump Kim uh, summit updates. Sometimes you have to walk. Trump says his talks um, collapse. That's actually a good thing. You might think like, oh, H.O., you're being uh, it's hyperbole. This is actually a uh, victory for Trump. It's a victory tr uh, for Trump because he sets the stage for another piece, another um, summit. This summit, hopefully, with South Korea's Moon Jae-in. And this is a good thing. Before Trump, we had constant, constant possibility and threat of a nuclear exchange with North Korea. President Obama was no closer than President Bush, who was no closer than Clinton, who was no, no nearer to, no, closer to... Um, some kind of peace deal than any other president from 1953 until nine until today technically south korea and north north korea and south korea were um it was a ceasefire they're still technically technically at a war now trump is closer than any other president at at ending officially the korean war but what he's done, and, and and honestly, hey, listen, Dennis Rodman is a big part of this. I, I know that some people are like, what, Dennis Rodman? No, Dennis Rodman was a huge part of this. He met with Kim Jong-un years back. Dennis Rodman is a huge part of this, and when there is official peace and an end to the Korean War, Dennis Rodman will be part of world history. Love Dennis Rodman, one of the great basketball players of all time. He will be part of world history, as will President Trump. You know who won't be part of world history when it comes to this? Obama and Clinton. No. Why? Because their, um, their tenure, their roles in American politics correlate more to destruction than to creating peace, even though Obama won the Nobel Peace Prize. Nobel Peace Prize. Trump should win the Nobel Peace Prize. President Trump should win the Nobel Peace Prize already for what he's done. But... The next summit, and there will be a next summit next year. There will be a next. There will be another summit. N North Korea will go to the negotiating table with President Trump, and hopefully South Korea is there also with Moon Jae-in. Hopefully, and you will have a landmark paradigm. There's already been so many parad paradigm changing events, but you will have. An eventual peace. They're on the way to peace, despite everything Democrats, um, despite the the consternation and the uh, the naysayers. There are people on the left who just hate Trump. Well, actually, most of them. They don't care about bringing American soldiers from never-ending counterinsurgency conflicts. They don't care about that. Their version of anti-war is being anti-Israel. That's it. By the way, check out my Jerusalem Post op-ed, Why Democrats Embrace Antisemitism and Anti-Israel Bias. That's below. Check out my Federalist article below on AOC's Green New Deal, how it w would lead to exponential suffering in the Congo and in Latin American countries and in, and in China. 
because of the mining of cobalt, lithium, and nickel, which are needed for electric car vehicle batteries to function. Don't tell AOC or Democrats. They mentioned the phrase indigenous people like six times in their resolution, and their, their plan would decimate indigenous communities around the world, especially in the Congo. But don't tell AOC. She's busy uh, ensuring that Amazon doesn't uh, bring 107,000 direct and indirect jobs, which would be 25,000 first, then 40,000, then all the jobs. Um, you're talking, I mean, everything from food trucks to construction, to every, uh, dry cleaners, restaurants, everything. Um, unions would benefit. Forget about that. It's no longer happening. Amazon's not going to be in Long Island City, so she's won. Uh, Democrats are fighting the oligarchy, fighting the power. Oh, my God. But where's the major peace? Where's the major, major achievement? And don't blame uh, Venezuela on Trump. That has nothing to do with Trump. Um, whether the intelligence agencies are, I mean, Democrats are the ones who, who cozy up and get in bed with these intelligence agencies. It's Trump who's actually trying to, to battle them. But yeah, I'm against if any of these agencies are, are, are furthering what's taking place. But it was already a failed state. And it was on its way to being a failed state even, even before Trump was even elected. So don't try to compare this to Libya. You have zero understanding of politics, zero, zero understanding of what took place in Libya. NATO intervention, American military, in addition to the militaries of NATO, destroying Libya. It was not a failed state prior to the Nobel Peace Prize winning President Obama's intervention. Military intervention. Very different from what's happening in Latin America. Was 80,000% inflation for the year, something insane like that. But, ladies and gentlemen, um, for people who would relish, for the disgusting, sad, and pathetic individuals who would relish Trump's uh, Trump Kim Summit, uh, sometimes you have to walk, uh, Trump uh, says, as talks collapse. Oh. Well, at least they were at a position to where they could collapse. At least there's talks. Hillary Clinton wanted to ring China with missile defense. That's what she said to bankers. By the way, she's running again. And it's going to be a repeat of 2016. Can you believe the audacity of Democrats on Twitter? They're like, oh, yeah, Bernie. The Bernie people can't, you know, poison this again. It's like you cheated Bernie Sanders. Not that I care anymore. I don't care anymore about Bernie. I'm a Trump supporter. I'm voting for Trump. He's objectively a great president. I mean, there's no... The, the economy is great. Foreign policy is better than it was under Obama. So I mean, how can he not be a good president? Prison reform. Even Van Jones, Van Jones stated it was a uh, Christmas miracle. But President Trump and Kim Jong-un, the leader of North Korea, failed to reach a deal on denuclearization. During their second summit meeting in eight months, sometimes you have to walk, Mr. Trump said, they'll be back. They'll be back, haters. This is a victory for President Trump, but you're a hater. I'm not talking to you, the person who's watching this channel. I'm talking to Democrats who would jump for joy um, because peace talks um, you know, didn't work this time. They'll work the next time. The same petulant people, and thank God I'm no longer on Twitter. You know, H.A. Goodman is no longer, I am not, I am no longer on Twitter. If you see anybody on Twitter, they're probably just, you know, um, have something wrong with them, pretending they're me. But on Twitter, they're like, oh, yeah, you know, Michael Cohen, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you see, that didn't work, huh? Obama didn't even come close. Clinton would never have come close. Her foreign policy was a, an interventionist, neoconservative foreign policy. Max Boot, Bill Kristol, they love her foreign policy. Interventionist. Interventionist foreign policy. 
by the way, neoconservative never meant support for Israel. That's just the extreme haters on the left who suddenly just stated, tried to make the, the neocon label into that. No. The neocon was interventionist in the Bush, Cheney, uh, Rumsfeld um, paradigm. Anyway, leaders were scheduled to have lunch together and sign a joint agreement, but those plans were, abru- were abruptly called off. Mr. Trump said Mr. Kim was willing to close some but not all nuclear sites in North Korea in exchange for lifting of all international sanctions. Trump is willing to lift all the international sanctions, but Kim Jong-un has to play ball also. He has to close all the sites. That's it. And it'll happen. Don't worry, petulant haters. I'm not talking to people who watch this channel, but I'm talking about the Democrats on Twitter and Democrats. Just a petulant. Look up the, the, the definition of petulance, and you'll see... Um, just you'll see a picture of like you know a democratic uh, politician. They're just petulant. Petulance. The quality of being sulky or bad tempered. That's pretty much what the Democrats are. Hit subscribe right now, ladies and gentlemen. This was essentially a victory for Trump. He got closer than any other president ever. And guess what? He was never he, he was never a politician. <laughs> Clinton spent her entire life. Oh, by the way, she's going to be, like I said, she's going to be the 2020 nominee. <laughs> you think they're going to roll with Amy Klobuchar? You think they're going to roll with, uh, oh, I inhaled uh, Kamala Harris? Big deal. Who hasn't? Who cares? You think they're going to roll with... Um, I don't partake, but I want it legal and on a federal level. You think they're gonna they're gonna roll with Biden, old man Biden? You think they're gonna roll with Bernie, who they cheated and already they they they're cheating again with CNN? By the way, oh uh, my God Almighty, like sometimes I'm sarcastic. Like in my last video, people need. I guess people just like. Don't know who I... Anyway. Not everything I say regarding, oh, I love this and that. It's like, it's sarcasm. Um, Anyway, this was a victory for President Trump. They're going to negotiate again. And um, to all the haters, just, you just wait, haters. Don't worry about it. Uh, He'll eventually get his Nobel Peace Prize. and, And he'll win a second term. And my God, the haters are going to melt down. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. God bless the people of South Korea and God bless the people of North Korea. And we are on our way to peace. Um, I do believe Trump is going to have another summit. Uh, 